Is it true? Is it true? You wanna be a celebrity star? Well, let me show you how to get this far. What's up, guys? You know who is. P. Hung, Peter Hung, whatever. I'm back in it. Alright, so today we're gonna jump right into it. So as you can see from my beautiful singing, my beautiful voice, today we're gonna talk about how to succeed when you come to the United States. Whether it is to study, whether it is to uh, become a famous musician, whether uh, you came here because uh, you're looking for a, a, a husband or a wife, whatever the case may be, what are some tips, what are some things you can do to help you succeed, to help you reach the goals that you have, okay? So, but most importantly, we're going to focus, we're going to put our focus on studying in the United States. And, you know, for some people, they just want to come here to study, to get a degree um, that's more valuable, that is worth more, that is uh, uh, sought after, that is prestigious, that is of very top tier, okay, so that they can, in return, go back to wherever they came from and uh, get a better or high-paying job because uh, whoever's hiring them is going to be like, oh, whoa, look at that. You went to, you know, United States and you graduated and, you know, you got a degree. So, wow, you must be impressive. You must, you know, have very good English. Um, so that's for some people, right? Now, some people, their goal is to not only study in the United States, but their goal is to stay there and live and to work. Now, how they can accomplish that, how they can uh, uh, achieve this goal is by getting a visa, okay? So now, a lot of, a lot of times, right, if you go to a country that you want to stay for a longer period of time than what uh, the country that you're going to allows you to stay. So it's not just vacation, okay? It's not just going to have fun. You're going to this country for a purpose. Um, if you go over that time frame, they're going to they're gonna require you to have a visa to stay or they're going to catch you and then throw you out. <laughs> Okay, because you're 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 trespassing essentially. Um, you're not you're somewhere where you're not supposed to be. So, um, one of the visas is the student visa. Okay, so the student visa is as long as you are studying in a school in the country that you're at, uh, you can stay in the country. But if once you graduated or your student visa number of years run out, then you have to go back to your home country, okay? So this may be two years, this may be four years, depending on what degree you're going after. Now, a lot of times, a lot of foreigners, they come to the United States to get um, a higher level of education. Um, so, for example, it would be a master's or a doctoral, because a lot of times they already completed their bachelor or associate degree back in their home country, okay? Now, that's w one way to stay. Now, the third way to stay is uh, to stay on a working visa. Now, a working visa is the one that you want because this means as long as you are working for whatever company that's sponsoring you, that's uh, paying for you, that's vouching for you, that's saying that, oh, you're good, you know, you're good to stay, we want him here, that's, so they'll give you a working visa, so as long as you are working, then you can stay, okay, now all these lead to another uh, uh, goal, another milestone, and that is getting the green card, the the PR, the permanent resident. And what this means is that 
you are allowed to stay in America forever. Unless if you like commit some crimes or you do some crazy stuff or who knows, maybe there's new government changes, whatever. But for the most part, you can stay. Um, and as long as you actually live, live in the, the, the state, the country. That's what permanent. So permanent means you're always there. Resident means you're living in that place. So you're permanently living in, for example, the United States. Now, if you go out the country to go vacation in Vietnam for like half of the year, every year, well, they're going to be like, um, you're not living here for half, over half the years, half of a year. So you're not a PR, you're not a permanent resident, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So uh, as long as you don't do that, then you can stay, right? Now, so all those can lead to that, the PR. And when you get a working visa, that is the best because that's most likely your longest uh, visa um, before you, you know, you're applying for the working visa. Okay. Now, the last and final one is, um, you know, it's a little cheat code. It's a little bit, uh, you know controversial you know it's a little bit iffy you know and it's um essentially marrying an american somebody who has a citizenship who has a, a blue passport you know um the the, the passport that you can sh you know grab in your hand and wave it at people and you know sometimes you might piss them off but sometimes they're like "Ooh, okay i see you i see what you got so that's the one people want, right? Um, now, if you marry someone who has that and you go through all the things like proving, oh, you love each other. It's not just like uh, you paid them some money to say you can get married and you're not actually living together, uh, all that stuff. And, you know, you go through some applications, majigly, babbly, blah, 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 sign this, sign that, boom. Okay, you're a citizen now too. When you marry them, or a, a, a couple of years after that, okay, so, so that is that is another way. And keep in mind, this is the quickest way, because all the other ways is very hard. Um, it's very tough, especially nowadays, because of new policy changes, whether they're good or bad. But that's just how it is, right? Um, and there are only so many people that can be accepted into any program. You know, it's not like it's not like um, everybody can get into Harvard. Into um, not everybody can go attend the top school. You know, in Taida, in uh, medicine or whatever. Not everyone can reach that. If everyone can attend that, then it makes that position, that school, meaningless, right? So they put a cap, a cap, C-A-P. They put a limit on how many people that can stay and enter and visas, all that, okay? So, and when you're applying, let's say you get on the list. If you do the all the other three steps, not the marriage one, you're going to be put in the furthest line. Now, if you marry somebody and you pay the legal fees, whatever, pay the lawyer and do the signatures, whatever, you're going to get in another line that is going to be faster. Okay? So, you know, that's not as realistic. So don't pay attention to that. Unless, of course, you really meet somebody that you really love and um, you guys get married. Then, well, good for you, right? So, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Don't come asking for me, okay? Because <clears throat> I'm never mind. This is my personal stuff, okay? No, I'm just kidding. So um, now, okay. So that's the goal, right? Let's say let's say if your goal is to come here to study, and just you know, okay, sure, you can study. It might be nice to uh to accomplish other things like get some uh scholarships so that your tuition is cheaper so scholarship is like uh, uh money that the school pays you or the government pays for you so that you don't have to pay for the school it's basically free money 
okay now if you want to get that okay that's good if you want to um get some like uh medals some other achievements like oh look at me i completed this project and i helped save 20 people from eating too much uh boba and choking on it whatever okay so good job right if you want that then that's good that's what you can do now uh, 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 that's all good and stuff, but you know those who aren't staying, uh, these tips aren't as important for them, okay? Because, because you know, for the most part, all the people that are coming to study, they're they're pretty smart, you know. They most of most of them, okay. Some of them they're kind of dumb and they got like really rich parents, so they can just go here, come here, and have fun and do whatever they want, and the parents don't really you know, care or know what's going on anyways, you know, but for the most part, people don't got that money, don't have that money to spend to, you know, blow 50,000 USD dollars a year for like two to four years just to get a degree. And they're not going to mess around. So for most part, the people are smart and they're not coming, you know, they're coming here for a purpose. Okay. Now, for some people, for those people who are coming to 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 uh not only get an education but also coming to want to live here um then th these tips are more important now before i go into that a quick water break okay <sighs> okay so um and you know what wh what are some of the reasons that make them want to live here or well, for one, maybe um, they they want to live a different life than what they're used to. Maybe they're tired of living in, I don't know, Taipei. And there are a lot of scooters around. And they always have to, like, honk. Like, eh, eh, eh. You know? Hey, hey, you're why you're doing this? You're just You know, all that stuff. Or they're tired of the heat. You know, oh, hello, my God. 我我我洗澡完，去擦擦身体的时候，擦擦身体的时候，哦，已经有汗了。What the heck, you know? And then the AC is so expensive. <laughs> the air conditioning, you know, the 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 thing that makes your house nice and cool, so expensive because electricity is expensive. So you know, they're like, okay, I want to go to America because it's colder there. I like cold. You know, I don't like to sweat. Or maybe it's um, they know that the jobs make more money um, in the States. Like, for example, healthcare. You know, um, it's crazy to say, but it, I mean, it's different because you have to compare people's salary, salary, which is how much they make from their job a year. You have to compare people's salary to cost of living because what it costs to live, to, you know, rent a house, to buy food, to do other things, you know, it costs more in the United States than, let's say, Taiwan. So even though your salary is higher in Taiwan, you know, or in the United States, your cost of living is also higher. So you have to take that into consideration. You have to think about that. You have to factor that in. Um to to kind of know okay how am i actually making more money now in most cases you are because you make more money and if you're good with saving then you can save more money okay um so you know that's that so that's one major reason why they want to come here okay so uh they want to make more money sure you know, I understand that. And, you know, it's it's so bad to the point where um, a medical assistant, you know, someone who helps in the healthcare field, whatever, they make more money than a doctor in Taiwan does if you convert it. Like, how is that even possible? You know, but it is. Now, they might not make more money in terms of when comparing to the cost of living. But it's just crazy to think that if you convert it, they still make more money, okay? So that's insane, right? So that's 
that's why you know people want to come here to stay and work okay now finally after 15 minutes we're gonna get into the tips the most important tips okay so this is what you want to do but keep in mind you want to be genuine gen new and genuine okay you want to be a uh, 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 real you want to be truthful you want to actually you know you don't want to kind of lie to make things up about how you feel you want to be genuine okay so the most important thing you can do right is when you come here okay let's say you go into the the science field the science degree whatever okay um what you want to do is find whoever is at the top, the highest. Now, who is the top? For example, the top in uh, politics is the president. Okay? So if you're in politics and you want to find Obama or you want to find Trump or you want to find uh, uh, Bush, whatever. Okay? You want to find them. Okay? Now, in your science field, you want to find... Either um, the director, the dean, the, 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 the head of the department, whoever, okay? Obviously, you, it's very hard to find the very top because the top of the top, they don't even know who the students are. They're busy, uh, you know, trying to get the school running, doing like stuff with government and stuff, Okay. They don't really know. They don't interact with the kids. So you want to find the top of the top that you that the students can actually reach and connect to that. So, you know, it might be your director. It might be your mentor. You know, someone who, who oversees your studying. That's the person you want to find. Once you find them, when you first go to the States, right? You want to meet them. You want to meet them. You have to tell them who you are. You have to learn how to, you know, grab their hand firmly, not squeezing, but you want to grab it firmly tight and give them a good handshake because that is very important. That tells you that, you know, you're confident that you're serious in that you you want to meet them. So you want to give them a good handshake when you meet them. Introduce yourself. Just like how we went over in the last, or no, in podcast number 10, right? How to introduce yourself in five minutes. See, all these things, all these podcasts, they have a meaning. They're all connected. Whatever you're learning can be used in other instances. So remember how to introduce yourself. That's where you use this. So you grab their hand, you shake them, introduce yourself, tell them who you are, what your name is, what you're doing, and then most importantly, tell them what your goal is, what you want, okay? Now, most people, okay, most people, they will help those in need when you ask for it. Now, it has to be reasonable. It can't be like, oh, somebody is poor and be like, hey, can you give me $1,000 because I'm poor? Nah, they're probably not going to do that. But if you're a student and they're a teacher <coughs> or they're your mentor and they ask you ask them for help, not only is it their job to help you, it is human nature. It's they're obligated. They're, it's their instinct to help you. And most people, they're willing to help, okay? But they're so busy with their own lives that um, they don't recognize what's going on with others. So you have to tell them that you want help, okay? Man, my throat's getting dry. I hope I'm not talking too fast, but... Um, my ideas are flowing, so I got to get them out, okay? Remember, one take. So, um, you have to tell them, right? Now, what your help might be is, essentially, you need help 
staying in America, in America, right? Because you want to get that working visa. Because you don't want to just uh, leave after your student visa is out, okay? And for that, you need a job, okay? Now, to get a job is very hard, okay, as a foreigner. If you want, like, a good position job, okay? You need experience. You need um, luck. Most importantly, it's who you know. There's a saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Um, it, it's translated into, uh, 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 不是, 不是你, okay? That's probably a really, there's probably a better uh, interpretation, but that that's that gets the point across, okay? So so if if they hear you and they hear, oh wow, this student is very dedicated and he, they want to stay and study, okay, if I have anything, any openings, any opportunities, their name, this student's name is going to come into my head first. Okay? Because think about it. If, if, okay, for example, let's say if you've ever gone to a restaurant, a new restaurant, Xing Tan Tanting, and you look at the menu, oh, everything looks good. I don't know what to order, you know? What can you do? You ask the the waitress. Remember um, podcast uh, number? I think it was six or seven. Dining out, one of those. Um, you ask them, "What is your specialty? What is the 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 zao pai?" <laughs> I learned this one. Okay, I learned this one. What is the the specialty of you know this restaurant? And they'll tell you. So let's say the specialty is the double Oreo cheesecake. Okay. So, okay. You got a name. You got a selection. So this person just helped you eliminate, get rid of all the other choices because it makes it hard for you to, to decide. And he gave you one option. And you, for the most part, will feel good about ordering that about picking that because you know it's not you know whatever is the most popular at the restaurant is most likely good and it's a safe choice to get okay so this relates to the the professor the the mentor whatever the director once you told him who you are and he likes you he will pick you out of everybody else when there's an opportunity. So for him, the students are like the menu. There are 50, let's say there are 50 choices, 50 students. But there are only three spots in this um, incredible job uh, experience, whatever, paid Paid research assistant job. How is he going to pick? You know, maybe based on grades, Tenji. Maybe based on, I don't know, looks. Maybe he thinks you look handsome or pretty. <laughs> probably, this is probably not true. I'm just playing around. Okay, maybe it's based on, you know, uh, 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 I don't know, your test scores, whatever. Okay. Or maybe it's based on who he knows, who he likes in person, who he thinks is the most serious, who works the hardest. And guess what? If he knows you, he's going to pick you. Okay? Now, this goes back to being genuine. <sighs> you essentially want to make friends. Make friends with the person up top. You don't want to do it for fake. You don't want to do it just because, oh, because you want to get a job. I mean, you kind of do, but you want to be, remember, sincere, genuine. And, you know, of course, the 
the pers- the director who does become your friend for them you know if they do that if they do the if they do help you out for the most part they are good people they are great people so of course you would love to be you know good friends with them okay now this is what you do right so you introduce yourself you tell them what you're doing you tell them you know your financial situation is not the best. <coughs> you know, it's very... Because they should know it's very expensive to go to school. And they've probably gone through it themselves. So they understand. Okay? And then you want to be good friends with them. You want to show your appreciation. You want to let them know, hey, if there's anything, you know, on campus, in the school... If there are any projects that you need help with, if there's anything I could do, if there's anything that I could learn from you, please let me know. And you give them your contact number, okay? You give them your Facebook, probably not. You can if you want. Um, you give them your phone number, okay? And let them know about that. And then when he does something for you, you want to make sure you show your appreciation. <coughs> You want to write like a card, a thank you card. You want to be like, hey, I want to take you out for coffee. Okay? Now, this is very important because this shows that you are genuine. Okay? Now, let's say, um, uh, see, the thing is, is this, okay? Just like you want to become his friend, <clears throat> he... Has his own friends. And the reason why you pick the top. Is because. The people at the top. They surround themselves. With successful people. Because it helps them. Get to the top. They don't surround themselves. With people. Who are you know. Losers kind of. That are bullies. That don't work hard. People that make fun of others. People who are mean. No, they surround themselves with hardworking people who are smart, who are nice for the most part. You know, sometimes, maybe not. Um, and that's because they themselves know that's, that is what they kind of had to do to get to the top. I mean, sure, you can do it by yourself, but it's very, very hard. You have to be very lucky or very smart or whatever, okay? So... Guess what? He knows a lot of people. He has to know a lot of people. That's how he got to the top. He has to know all the other faculty, all the other teachers, all the other staff. So maybe th- th- this director can't help you. They have nothing to offer you. Okay, that's fine. But guess what? Maybe he knows somebody that can help you. Just the same thing, right? Maybe even better. Okay? So, remember the quote. It is not what you know. Because you may know a lot of stuff. But if you don't know the right person who gives you access. Who lets you do the stuff that you need to do to succeed. Well, it doesn't matter. So, it's who you know. Okay? It's who you know. Or... Who you know and who they know, if that makes sense. Okay. So I wanna uh, I wanna give a example, a real life example. Um I don't know if if he is listening to these podcasts, but uh uh, uh maybe he is. Either way it doesn't matter. Um I'm just gonna shout him out, okay? I think it's okay. I'm not giving any last names, so it's probably okay. So I'm going to shout out my friend Bill. Okay? Now, Bill, let's say two years ago, um, we met. We were in Yangming University. Okay? Yangming Dashue. While I was studying there. And, no, actually it was... 
I think three years now. Probably three years. All right. Forgive me. Time is not my strong point. Either way, we met in Yangming Dashe, and he had told me that he wanted to to come to the United States to study for his doctoral. And I had helped him with his TOEFL um, the uh, speaking section because he needed help on that, you know, to pass the test. Okay. And fast forward two years, he is currently in, I think, uh, one of the Carolinas, either north or south. Um, I'm not going to share which one specifically because uh, it's personal reasons. But um, he's there studying. And guess what? This is what he did. So his mentor texted all the students, right, in the chat. He asked them, hey, um, who would like to have coffee? We can discuss some stuff, see how you guys are doing. Okay. It was, I think, over the weekend. Whatever. And Bill responded, sure. Now, he shows up at the coffee place. He sees his mentor. And nobody else. Turns out, Bill was the only student that showed up. So, think about this. Think about this. Your mentor, you asked students to come have a coffee with you. Only one student shows up. What's going to happen? One He's going to be like, wow, this student is good. He did. He's the only one that actually came. So I don't look stupid. Now I'm not here sitting by myself thinking, why did no student come? Two, he's going to think after they talked, you know, it's important what you do when you meet, you know, if you just talk about crap. You're not going to do anything. <coughs> okay. Two, he's going to think, I, I'm going to remember the student. I know the student more now. And from Bill's point of view, he has the whole time to speak with the director. And guess what? He can go into personal details of for example, you know, hey, I'm struggling, my family's struggling financially. Not saying he was, but, you know, it's still a lot of money. Not everyone has a lot of money to pay. And he can tell him, I need help, you know, or I would appreciate help. Or this or that. And with a one-on-one -on -one conversation, that is possible. Can you imagine um, having a group of, let's say, five people and one of them is the boss and the other four are the, the, the staff? Is that going to be appropriate? Is that going to come up where, you know, you kind of tell your boss your struggles? Maybe, but it's very hard because remember, there are four other people that's talking. They can take the conversation anywhere, Okay. So he had that chance to let his director know, his mentor, who he is, what he needs, what he wants, what his goals are. And fast forward, the upcoming year, he was given a research assistant position. Keep in mind, paid. Okay, they give him money. A lot of times, they don't give people money. Because you're getting the experience, which is very important. Okay, so 
most of the time they don't need to give money, but he's getting paid to do it. All because he went to have coffee with his mentor. See how important that is. And quite frankly, because he wants to work in the United States, he's gonna get that working visa. Most probably because he has the experience. And the company that hired him, whatever the government, they're going to say, wow, this guy is really good. Let's hire him. Let's keep him. See what I mean? So, and, you know, I am very proud of Bill because, you know, those things that he did is not easy, okay? He worked very hard to get to where he is now. And guess what? It paid off. It paid off for him. I can, I told him two years ago, I know you are going to succeed when we became friends because because I could see the passion. Because guess what? He was one of the few people that... Oh, that's my phone. He was one of the few people that wanted to reach out to me while I was in Taiwan. That wanted to make friends with me. That was interested in, you know, practicing English, whatever. So... In some sense, back then, he was already using the tips of it's not what you know, it's who you know. In this case, it's me. I mean, who wouldn't want to know me, right? <laughs> okay, so... But anyways, that's why I helped him with his English speaking then, too, is because... I could see, I could see that he wants it. He's the one that wants it. He's not just saying, oh, um, you know, maybe I'll go to, maybe I'll go to America in the future and, um, get a job, you know, oh, um, you know, I, I'm going to start looking into it, whatever. No. He, he wanted it. He did his work. He researched. He did all the things. And guess what? He made it. So I could see it back then. So that's why I helped him. And that's what I thought that, okay, he can achieve it. Now, this is one of the example. I have other friends who I'll probably shout out in uh, future podcasts that did the same thing. The same exact thing, okay? So that's how you can be successful okay you want to know people who can help you you don't want to surround yourself with people that talk about drama all the time that talk about gossip that talk about oh you know this lady she was she was cheating on um um his she was cheating on her husband with this one other guy and this other guy like I know him from high school and blah 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 like no they don't surround themselves with people like that they don't surround themselves with time wasters like that okay and you want to know those people because they're the they're the type of person that can help you that can help you what get what you need. And guess what? Maybe, maybe one day, maybe one day, you will be in that position to help others. And when that one student comes up to you and shakes your hand, tells you their name, Hello, my name is John, and... I am from Taiwan, or I am from, you know, Singapore. 
and I want to learn how to do this. I want to learn how to do that. You're gonna think. Guess what? I like this kid. I'm gonna help him. It's all about the cycle, okay? So, all right, that's it. Um, thank you guys for listening to podcast number twelve. In where uh, I guess we will title it. It's not what you know; it's who you know. And this applies to life in general. Okay. So, if you want to succeed. If you want to improve your life, surround yourself with people who are in a top position, who are nice, who will say, "Oh, hey, um, hey, hey, Kevin, if there's anything you ever need, just give me a text and I'll help you out." Okay, hey, Kevin, if um. You know, if if you have any troubles with anything, go ahead and give me a call. Okay. You want to surround yourself with people like this, and that is how you can succeed. All right. So thank you for listening to Improving po- English Podcast, Speaking Podcast. Dang, I talked too long. All right, my throat is dry. Um. Uh, uh. 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 Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, everyone. Whatever you celebrate. Um. New Year's is coming up. Uh. It's gonna be twenty twenty. Um. You're gonna have to write twenty twenty instead of twenty nineteen. Isn't that kind of annoying? Um. You're getting one year older. <laughs> I'm getting one year older. <laughs> But yeah. Okay. So um. Enjoy your time. Uh, uh. Don't drink and drive. And um. I hope you guys will tune in to the next one. All right. Peace out. It's Peter Hunt. Bye.